Hey kids, I'm Kristen. This is my starfish, and we're the Kristen Starfish Show. I got to spend the last 10 years in Australia studying the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah, I did it so long they even call me a doctor now. How cool is that? I got to go swimming all the time, got to see sharks, turtles, but my favorite is the octopus. So let's go check out some videos. Meet Ella the octopus. Now octopus are highly intelligent. They have huge brains, which means they can solve complex problems. Yeah, they can use tools to open jars and even escape out of their tanks, just like on Finding Dory. Now octopus are so cool. They can move around the reef with using their eight arms. They can jump from coral to coral just like Ella's doing now. Ella seems to have a fish friend. I've named her Fire. They hang out all the time along the reef. Oh, Ella's really scared there. That's what octopus do when they have that white flash. Now, you know what Ella likes to do? Her favorite game is she plays hide and seek on the reef almost all day. Yeah, she uses her special cells to change color and texture so she can blend in with the surroundings. This makes it excellent to stay away from predators. Now, octopus are often known for eight arms. Let's see, how many fish can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight in the back. Did you find them all? Good counting. Okay, let's keep going on the reef. Now, octopus also have a special beak-like mouth that makes them eat all their dinner. And they have a sharp parrot-like tongue called a radula. That's a cool word. What color is Ella, the octopus? <laughs> she looks like kind of my favorite color. Do you know what that is? Yep, purple! Now some species of octopus can be dangerous and venomous, so we have to stay away from it on the reef and keep a safe distance. Oh, what's on the bottom of Ella's tentacles? Yeah, they're called suction cups. What is the top of Ella's head called? Do you know what it is? Yeah, a mantle. And she has a siphon that comes out that can help push water through it if she needs to get away really fast by jet propulsion. I think one of the coolest things about Ella is that if she loses an arm, yeah, she can actually regenerate it. How cool is that? There's just some really cool things in nature and I think octopus mark them all. Thanks for taking a dive with me. I hope you liked seeing Ella. All right, let's head back and see what else Kristen and Starfish are up to. A, ah, angelfish. How cool was that, Starfish? I love looking at octopus. You just never know what they're gonna do. It's so cool how they can change different shapes as they move around the reef and they have special cells that can actually change form to make it look like they have different textures. How cool is that? Okay, what else should we do for fun today? Hmm, should we do our buoyancy check? What's this? Yeah, well we get to put things in water and if they're buoyant, they float. And if they're not buoyant, then they're gonna sink. So let's go sink or float. All right, thanks for joining me today on the buoyancy test. Yep, that's where we see if something sink or floats. Okay, what do we have up first? Yep, Lego diver. 
All right, she's got a pretty cool boat here. Ready? I don't know, what do you think? Think it's gonna sink or float? Oh, she's going under a bit. She floats. Okay, here we go. We've got the submarine. It's pretty heavy. And who's inside? Winnie the Pooh! All right, Pooh, ready to go for a swim? Surely if it's a submarine, it's gonna sink. Okay, let's see, ready? Oh. Well. Upside down, still floating. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if the diver can go for a swim, hey? All right, ready? Let's take a dive. Shh. No, still floats. All right, well today on Sink or Float, everything floats. Well, thanks for learning with me today on the Kristen Starfish Show. I sure hope you had fun. If you wanna see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And thank you for letting me in your home. Now remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be a starfish. Take care. Hey kids, thanks for coming back and checking out the Kristen Starfish Show. I'm Kristen, this is my starfish, and we're here to teach you all about marine biology. Did you ever want to be a marine biologist? Yeah, for as long as I can remember, I loved being in the water. I was like a fish growing up. Even in Canada, I swam through all the lakes, checking everything out with my snorkel and my dive mask, just seeing what fish I could find. I have to say, I think in Australia it's a little bit more fun swimming because there's so many different things you're going to see in the ocean. Okay, let's go check out my favorite shark now, the lemon shark. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Let's learn about lemon sharks. Now lemon sharks are not typically aggressive towards humans at all, which means they're super docile. Now here we have Larry, the lemon shark. Oh, there I am. Oh, look, black tip reef shark. They're often hanging out with Larry in the lagoon at Heron Island. Now lemon sharks have yellow brown skin and it's that color that allows camouflage in the sand. They like to move along the reef. How many fins can you count? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I counted eight too. Now lemon sharks are able to adapt to lots of different environments, which is really cool. The longest recorded has even been 3.7 meters. That's huge. Going through the bait ball here. Oh, this was super scary. Now they're most often found in shallow reefs or coastal habitats like mangroves or inland bays. And this is all around the world but here I am with Larry in Australia. I think the coolest thing about lemon sharks is that they can actually give birth to live youngs, meaning they're viviparous. Yeah, they can have up to 17 pups. That's what a baby shark is called in their belly. That would be a lot of babies to have in a shark belly. Oh, here we are all done seeing Larry heading back in after a dive. Here we have the shipwreck at Heron Island, one of the most spectacular places. And as we come back from the dive, look, you never know what you see. A spotted eel ray was right under the boat. Coming into the harbor after a great day on the water, nothing better. 
You know what, starfish? That was one of the scariest things I've ever done. Swimming through all those little fish looking for a shark? That's just crazy. But you know what? Sometimes when we do things that are super scary, they give the best memories. So I encourage you to do anything that makes you scared. At least give it a try. B. B. Batfish. Okay, what else can we do today? Hmm, I do love math. Should we do some counting? All right, let's go do afternoon tea. One, two, three. All right, welcome back to afternoon tea. One, two, three. This is where we combine two of my favorite activities, eating and math. If you're doing this at home, it is something super easy you can do with your kids too to get them excited about math and counting. Okay, we're gonna eat our fast foods today. Now, what are the fast foods? These are the ones that give us super power. They make us super smart, super strong. Yep, your fruit and vegetables. So we've got some apples and some carrots. Okay, and who's our special guest today? Yep, we've got, who are these? My favorite octopus. And this one's pink, he's so cute. All right, octopus, you get to wear the hat today. Oh, it looks really good on you. All right, starfish, how are you doing today? Are you getting hungry? I think so, I think it's time to eat. Don't forget, at afternoon tea, we gotta wear fancy hats. Okay, what would you guys like to start with first? Would you like a carrot? We only have three carrots, and there's three of us. So if we all eat one carrot, two, three, how many are left? We had three carrots to start with. I'm eating one, starfish is eating one, octopus is eating one. Yep, there are no more carrots left. All right, cheers. Pshh. Remember, you don't really wanna talk and have food in your mouth, do you? Okay. Back to our apples. We have one, two, three, four, five, six apples left. All right, I'm pretty full after that carrot. Who wants an apple? You want one starfish? Okay, one for starfish. And what about you, octopus? How many would you like? Oh, are you super hungry? You wanna have three? Okay, so we had six apples to start with. Starfish is gonna have one. Octopus is gonna have three. One and three make four. So what is six? And if we take away four or we subtract four, yep, you're right, we got two left. All right, eat up guys. All right, thanks for eating with us today on afternoon tea, one, two, three. Thanks for learning with me today on the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, if you want to send me an email, I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe to these videos. I love making them for you. I hope you like watching them. Now remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be really happy starfish. Thanks for letting me into your home. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, this is Starfish, thanks for checking out the Kristen Starfish Show. Now, we don't live in Australia anymore, so we can't head out to the reef. But, we can watch underwater videos instead and learn all about marine animals. So let's check out some turtle videos! taking a dive with me. We're gonna learn some about my favorite creatures and those are, yep, sea turtles. Look, I even got to see babies hatching. 
How many baby turtles do you see? One, two. Yeah, you're right. Look at them swim to the water for the first time. Do you know what's cool about baby turtles? Is that they'll actually be able to come back and nest, have their babies on the same beach they were born at. How cool is that? They actually have a really cool way of finding their way back to the beach they were born. They use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate around these big oceans. Now sea turtles are actually endangered due to coastal habitat loss and pollution and poaching. So we always have to remember when we go to the beach, take away our garbage because sometimes they're even found with plastic bags in their bellies. But they're really important to the Earth's ecosystems, especially in the ocean because they're pivotal at maintaining healthy seagrass beds and coral reefs by eating the seagrass and the sponges on them. But what do you think turtles really like to eat? Yep, you've already seen it in this video. What they really, really want to eat is this beautiful seagrass. Now, sea turtles are reptiles that are found all around the world, except for where it's super cold. This little guy is here at Lizard Island. Thanks for taking a dive with me. And turtles really are the coolest of animals, aren't they? They just love to cruise around the reef. Finding Nemo really did get that one right. Hey, turtle dude. See, ka, clownfish. You know what, starfish? I love being out at sea, but some people can find that super scary. Yeah, they might even get some anxiety. Your tummy might get a little bit tight and you maybe think your face is getting a bit red. This still happens when I have to talk to large groups and I'm telling them all about the cool stuff that I've got to learn. But you know what's one thing that can help? I think of my starfish breath. So let's start down at starfish's foot here and let's picture starfish. We'll take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and a deep breath in and a deep breath out and a deep breath in my deep breath out. All right, let's go do one more activity. Hey kids, I'm super excited to be here today. I've got a really special episode. I just got the call from the Coast Guards and they told me some sea creatures have washed up on the beach. Do you think you can help me find them as we go searching in the sand? Let's see, got my bucket. It's got an octopus and a crab and the sun very hot here in Townsville. All right, let's see if we can find these sea creatures and save them and get them back in the ocean. Mm. <gasps> Look, we found one, a gray ray. Mm. <gasps> Whoa, look what else we found. An orange walrus. Yeah. Oh, that's just a shell. <gasps> oh, more shells. Wow. shark. He needs to go back in the ocean. <gasps> and a blue starfish. Wow. All right, I think we found all the sea creatures that got reported. We've got a orange walrus, our gray ray, hammerhead shark, and a blue starfish. Way to go, everyone. Thanks for searching with me in the sand today. Thanks for learning today on the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, if you guys like this, please like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. Now remember, in a world of scary sharks, let's all be a starfish. Spread the happiness. Take care of one another. Bye-bye.